Hello beer lovers! It's Greg here and you know what time it is. It's actually a little bit earlier today. I thought I may as well. I went for a huge bike ride. I went sailing up to Surface Paradise, right past it, and I thought, oh man, this is this is the life. And then I had to turn around and it was like a 40 kilometer an hour breeze. I had it in like first gear. My legs were going up and down like a pistons. And it took me about five times longer to get home than it took me to get there. So I'm a little bit, uh, my legs are sort of feeling it. The old knees, you know, I got the old knees. It, uh, luckily it's my left knee, not my right knee today. But um, uh, today's beer review, a uh, clock time again. And well, I just want to thank, uh, well, there was some, um, there was Conquer 3425. He gave me some um donations on my live vlog and 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 he goes mate go and get yourself some canadian club or some whiskey so well i'm not a canadian club drinker and whiskey pff, mate i can take it or leave it so i thought today well this time i get something that i i really enjoy and some bundaberg rum so conquer thanks for that one uh, but I will get some whiskey at some other stage, but what do you get? What's a good whiskey? Who knows? Mate, actually, um, when I was in the bottle load today, I, uh, some ladies walking up to the counter every five minutes with, with all these bottles of whiskey going, which one's better, this one or this one? Oh, that one. Okay. She takes it away, comes back with another one. So is this one better than this one or is it? Like she had the dimple and uh, just all these like top shelf... Uh, Scotches. Actually, my grandfather had this selection of dimples and went from a big bottle down to little ones. Now, uh, they sat there for 30 something years just on the shelf. I think they would have gone off, but I don't know if uh, it goes off in the bottle. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. The levels kept dropping. I don't know if it was uh, the, the evaporation or my brother used to just get into it when he was, you know, in his teens. <laughs> you know, it's, but um, Shazza, thanks for the Coles voucher. I'll be using that, don't you worry about that. That was really nice of you. And uh, Peter Ingram, he sent me a beer fund donation. He wanted me to try a, a goat. And well, I got the beer, but I know this one's not the right one, is it Peter? No, no. This is the one you wanted me to get and I'll do this at some stage, but today. Now today's beer, uh, is brought to you by Ian L. Now, Ian L. I need a, a, new, a better, better uh, system here. Uh, but Ian L. I am Brian Lynch. Thanks for the beer fund donations too. But uh, Ian L. He wanted me to try a um, what was it? A Saigon, a Saigon, a Vietnamese beer. And well, I've been looking for ages for it and. And then I, I went to uh, find some other ones and there was a Hanoi beer, which I, they didn't, still didn't have. So I went the Asian beer today and I thought I'd try something that, well, I've had my eye on for a little bit. It's, it, it is Asian. Well, sort of. Uh, it's a tiger, so a Singaporean beer. It's the new Crystal uh, Lager here and it's four and a half percent. Although, when I did look on the back, it's made in New Zealand, so. <laughs> so, uh, sorry Ian, but I can't find that beer, and uh, so this one's dedicated to your beer fund donation, which you gave me back uh, quite a little while ago, so I apologise for taking so long to get to it, but I've got a lot to get through. Um, so, we're going to try this one today, and well, it's pretty light colour, isn't it? Looks like it. It's the same colour coming out as it is going in. <laughs> so I hope it tastes better than as it goes in that it comes out. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Because if it doesn't, then well, yeah. well we're, we're going to find out. That's what I'm here for, is to let you know about all these things that are going on in the world of beer. And you know how much I love my beer. And I love trying new ones, although, you know, I do like just trying my old 
general forex, you know. Actually, Robbo, the disabled blogger, he sent me uh, quite a few bits of coin for to get myself some forex. So thank you too. Uh, but we're going to try this one today. I wonder if they got twist tops in New Zealand. <laughs> we'll soon find out. No, they don't. Lucky I always keep one of these handy. I, sh I should whack that on my key ring, but that would encourage me uh, opening bottles uh, with my keys. And I, that's not very wise. But uh, here we go. Well, it sounded like a beer. Is there any bubble action? Yes, yes, there is a bit of bubble action there. Hmm. Oh, oh that smells nice. Oh God, I miss that smell walking past the pub, even though the pubs sort of are open. They, they're not really, are they? But we'll try this. The crystal. Just get in there. I haven't got time to pour you properly. I just want you in there and write down my gob. Yum. So we're going to try this one. Well, I mean, it's got a... It's got that, uh, uh, the beer smell, although just from the scent, it smells a little bit weak. Hmm. Ah. Let's just hope you're not a bluey. God, I hope not. Couldn't stand that again. Or oh, what was the other one, the yeasty boys? Oh, I'll have to do a proper review on that some stage, but... I really don't want to. So I can, I just want to do a review on it so I can shred it. Yeah. Although, maybe the next time it might taste better. Yeah, right, Greg. You probably had too many already just to think that. No, nah, this is the first one. And only one today. I only had the one yesterday and the, and the, well, the couple the day before. I've been very sensible since that Saturday night. I tell you, oh my goodness. I've, had a great night's sleep last night and I fully caught up. It takes a few days now to get over things, doesn't it, you know? <sighs> Smells disappointing. Please be good. Mm. Well, it's no bluey, thank goodness. But it is a bit, um, well... A bit boring. It's a little bit uh, bland tasting. Ugh. Uh, it's got a um, a good blend of both things, malt and hops. I don't know which one would be stronger. Maybe just slightly hoppier. I'm guessing. Uh, but a very sort of, for a 4.5, it's got a pretty sort of averagey, weakish taste. So this is the sort of beer that, or someone that doesn't like strong beers, maybe a lady, or a <coughs> an 18-year-old or something, uh, might, might like. Uh, just something a little bit weaker, uh, I think. By the looks of it, it looks like it's probably... Um, well, for the ladies, by the, by the bottle and by the crystal and, um, I'd be, my guess it's, it's, it's for the ladies, this beer. And it does taste like a ladies beer. I mean, it's not bad, but, um, it's just a little bit weak and, well, no offense to those ladies that like live out at out at uh, Longreach or something, who like a nice, big, strong beer. But I'm talking about the, uh, well, you know, the teeny boppers that uh, get dressed up in skirts that ride up to their, about, you know, there, and uh, with everything hanging out. That's, that's what this, I think, is marketed towards. That's if they drink beer. I don't even know what they drink. I haven't been out to a nightclub in ages. But this, yeah, a little bit weak, a bit watery tasting. Uh, it's smooth enough though. 
and uh, it tastes okay, but it's, it wouldn't be on my beer shopping list, that's for sure. Although, I mean, if I was maybe having a, a party, and, well, there's a bit of a mix of people, and, well, I mean, this tastes better than some of those other, like, summer beers that I always see around. Uh, it, it's, it's okay tasting. It's just that little bit weak, and, well, it's not my cup of beer, let's just say that. Although it does taste okay. Yeah, yeah, it tastes all right. Just weak. It's just a weak tasting beer. Uh, what would I give it out of five, though? Hmm. Well, um, not much. Not much. I'd probably give it maybe a, a 2.25, I reckon. Maybe a 2.25. I was thinking two straight away, but... You can tell that it's a high quality brew and uh, it has got some flavor and tastes all right. It's not to my taste buds, but I can tell that it would be to other people's taste buds. So uh, I'll give it a 2.25. I think it's actually quite nice and, but just not my cup of beer. But I wonder what all the other punters reckon. Let's see what they think. So the Tiger Crystal. Oh, Heineken Asia Pacific, it says here. Heineken Asian, Asia Pacific. It's got written there. Yeah. So does Heineken own Tiger now? What don't they own? Actually, I think the Japanese probably own Heineken. I mean, they seem to own everything. Um... I do like the normal Tiger though, that one's a nice strong beer. I haven't done a review on that yet, so I should at some stage. Uh, what's everyone say? Oh, it's a, uh, a 2.73. Would I give it a 2.25? Yeah. No, that sounds about right. I was a little bit harsh on it. But, um, yeah, I could probably even go up to a 2.5 really. I think it, it is oh, alright. It's an alright beer. Uh, what's everyone giving it a two? A point seven five. Gee, they're harsh. Skunk flavour. This old mate reckons. <laughs> what the hell has he been? He probably had his fingers somewhere they shouldn't have been before he tasted this. He's probably sniffing his fingers after he'd shoved them somewhere. I tell ya. <laughs> he wouldn't know. <laughs> well, I think that's a bit late. How can there be a skunk? Unless a skunk has been like on the piss for like a week and a half. Um, sk skunk present and correct. What's this skunk? Why is everyone saying skunk? Uh, 2.75, 2.75. What does this guy say? Perfectly cromulent beer. What does that even mean? I don't even know all these words. I stick to like the basic ones. Because I don't know the big words. Um, somebody gave it a three because it was free. And nicer than the basic tiger they reckon. Well that's debatable. Um, <laughs> two, three, so. Yeah, I mean, most people are just seem to be happy with it, so. And I am too, I reckon it's a pretty good beer, and if uh, you're looking for one to maybe buy for the ladies, the sort of light in flavour, still got that nice smooth full bodiness that this one is probably a good one to give a go, I reckon. Might taste nice uh, with a slice of lemon or something. <laughs> but there you go, the Tiger Crystal. Uh, not a bad drop, actually, and, well, I'm actually starting to enjoy it a little bit more. Mm. 2.5. I've settled. 2.5. Yeah. Just needs a bit more something in it, like, well, flavour. And she'd be right. Anyway, that's all today. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I drink a beer. Cheers.